this, this is the uh, mammogram machine and uh, we can have the printer and this is the actual machine where we can perform the breast imaging on the mammogram and this is the uh, plate where we place the uh, place and compress the breast to obtain different views this is the mammographic machine uh, latest and digital uh, in our department this is the ultrasound probe basically the transducer have uh, 7.5 megahertz linear array probe and uh, uh, the normal curvy linear probe is not used in the breast ultrasound Uh, I have made a breast imaging brief and simple. Uh, first of all, many of uh, the uh, consultants and the patients are confused. Okay, what women are referred for breast imaging? Basically, there are two groups of women who are referred for the breast imaging. One who are having symptoms and the other one who are asymptomatic. The asymptomatic women have screening mammograms to look for the small non-palpable abnormalities in the breast. This is the basic image of um, breast mammogram. The craniocaudal view of right and left both breast. Patient is a 60 year old uh, woman and she is asymptomatic but you can see this thing inferiorly she is having some density soft tissue density and there are also some densities along the nipple region two basic views are craniocaudal or cc and the another one is the mlo how can you identify uh, this is mlo or cc I have shown you previously this is the uh, CC view and you can see the nipple in profile and in this MLO view you can see the image of the pectoralis this is pectoralis and the axilla is also viewed here MLO means mediolateral oblique craniocaudal CC now you can see in that asymptomatic female 60 year old i have shown you before uh, when uh, we obtained a cone view we can see that soft tissue density was irregular in shape and is it has indistinct margin at eight two o'clock in the mid depth of the breast and it was categorized as barrett four and the biopsy was recommended and on biopsy it was proved to be invasive ductal carcinoma so you can understand the importance of the mammography uh, many of our women are reluctant to have mammogram because every but every woman having uh, uh, who are above 45 uh, and have no uh, other symptoms or no palpable ma mass even then they must go for the mammography screening mammography it can find breast cancer when it is very small, two to three years before you can feel it and no other tool is 100% effective. Good quality mammograms can find 85 to 90% of the cancers and some cancers are not found until they reach this much size right? and mammogram can find cancer when it is only this much size. So now you can understand the importance of the mammogram. It is a very useful tool, especially in our setup um, in Pakistan, because we have. Ex I, I will show you later. Okay, we have experienced so many breast carcinoma, but due to some uh, social taboos and the shyness of our women, uh, they don't they don't want to talk about the breast, and uh, they carry this um, carcinoma. Uh, silently. Byred, what is Byred? Byred is the breast imaging made brief and simple and it is the breast imaging um, um, categorization um, 
uh, used for the breast imaging and the categorization of the lesion and it is an assessment and in scale which is indicating the likelihood of breast cancer for mammographic finding. What is zero? Zero means nothing but further information is needed to put the assessment category. One is normal, two is benign finding like fibroadenoma, like breast cyst, three is probably benign and six month follow up is needed in this case, four is suspicious and the biopsy is indicated and five is malignant and biopsy proven. The woman with symptoms have a diagnostic mammogram first and if the symptoms usually include uh, palpable mass or nipple discharge then uh, this thing is done like other ultrasounds and uh, other scans like CT scan and all that. The area of concern is marked with the uh, uh, breast uh, uh, marker and it is indicating a palpable mass. This is the marker and we put it over the skin and um, okay, there is the lesion and ultimately the, we can find it. Further imaging workup for these women includes additional mammographic views like sometimes cone view I have told you. Uh, the mass on ultrasound looks like this. It is irregular in shape and when we use the color Doppler it shows central flow. What are the statistics in Pakistan? It is one of the most common malignancy in Pakistani women and one third of the new cancers diagnosed. It is the second leading cause of death from the cancer. Almost 2 black 11,300 new cases of invasive duct cancer this year and 55,700 new cases of ductal carcinoma in situ this year. This year means 2019. It is one of the leading cause of premature mortality. Uh, in average over 18.5 potential years of life lost. And if the breast cancer is diagnosed while the disease is local, the survival is 96%. And if the regional disease, it is 78%. And for the distant disease, it is just 21%. So you can understand the importance of the early diagnosis. What are the methods of detection of breast cancer? The most important, self-examination. Examine all the quadrants systematically. You can adopt any way. You can go clockwise, you can go uh, anti-clockwise, but don't forget to examine the axilla. Then one can have clinical breast examination by the some expert uh, doctor, then screening mammograms. Methods of detection of breast cancer. Breast self-examination and clinical breast examination are used in the woman under 40 years to detect palpable masses. At 40 and older, Mammography is used to screen for breast cancer in women without the symptoms and mammography is the most sensitive examination for the detection of early breast cancers. At 40 and older, breast self-examination and clinical breast examinations are used to detect breast cancers not seen on a mammogram because of technical limitations, interval tumor growth, or breast cancer missed on the mammogram. American cancer recommendations for screening mammography are benign screening at the age of 40 unless woman has a mother or sister who developed breast cancer before menopause and screening annually. No end age of screening mammography. What are the risk factors for the development of breast cancer? Female, obviously female age more than 35, early menarche, late menopause, nulliparity, pregnancy after 30, first degree relative, 
could be mother, sister or daughter. Previous history of breast cancer, biopsy proof of atypical epithelial proliferation and biopsy proof of lobular carcinoma in situ. Uh, the reduction in the mortality for women whose breast cancer were detected on a screening mammogram is 30% or higher. What are the mammographic findings of breast cancer? It can be mass, it can be microcalcification and it can be both mass and microcalcification. Macrocalcification is a feature of benign lesion. Now mass. Both views, craniocaudal and the uh, MLO views and it was again the asymptomatic screening mammogram. You can see this lesion. It has some speculated margins, irregular and infiltrating. You can see in this thing there are few nodes also. There are also few nodes on the contralateral side and there is some another lesion in this thing. You can see in the opposite breast. Now, when we examine the cone view, we can see the speculations are very clear, infiltration is very clear. We can see the nodes here. It was diagnosed as 1.2 cm invasive ductal carcinoma with associated low grade ductal carcinoma inside too on the opposite side. Mammographic finding of microcalcification can also be seen in the case of breast cancer. You can see this is a very very cone view like um, we have enlarged the thing. So you can see this thing calcifications. We can use um, magnifying lens when we examine the mammogram also. Mass and microcalcification both can be seen at the same uh, uh, lesion. You know the speculated irregular infiltrating margins, and you can see some areas of calcification. This thing. Then another view. This thing. This lesion. On mammogram, this has some smooth and lobulated this lobulated margins it is not that much irregular and on when we did the ultrasound it was like this smooth and an echo on ultrasound and you can see this thing this will show the axilla and it was um, a benign lesion then another lesion breast ultrasound you can see the hypoechoic area with some echogenicity is inside. Again, a benign lesion. It was here. You can see the 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock position. It was in the midline. The marker is indicating the position of the lesion and it is indicating the size of the lesion. Ultrasound. The benign lesions are usually well defined. They can be anechoic in case of breast cyst or can have mixed density, mixed uh, echogenicity, like in this case, which is uh, fibroadenoma, and no flow is detected within the lesion on Doppler. Then, metastatic disease, multiple soft tissue density lesions throughout the breast and in the axilla then hematoma it is well capsulated you can see then the rupture of some implant breast implants sorry breast implants are again very common um, and they might rupture and causes the disfigurement of the shape of the breast and may lead to some um, uh, chemical uh, soft tissue um, like reaction so this is the extra capsular silicon rupture you can see the well defined 
capsule here but along its uh, inferior border there is some leak and this is the extra capsular silicon rupture uh, the implants can be of silicon or they can be of uh, uh, water